This is the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good evening. May God's Holy Spirit shower you with more faith and hope, charity. As we celebrate the Eucharist, 28th week, Thursday. Far Pharisees. Paul, he was called Saul before, was a Pharisee. Just like the Pharisees now, who were blind. They saw Christ raise the dead. They saw Christ cleanse lepers. The blind see, lame walk, demons are expelled. But they saw him as a threat. So, in the gospel today, they were already plotting, which will end, this plot will end in his death. And St. Paul was one of them. As a young man, he watched the cloaks of those who stoned St. Stephen, the first martyr to death. It was only when he was riding on a horse, persecuting Christians in other cities, ran after them, imprisoned them, some were stoned to death. He knew look sa kabayo ng Panginoon. So when he fell from his horse, he heard a voice. Why are you persecuting me? Who are you, Lord? I am Jesus of Nazareth. So he was told by the Spirit to go to Ananias and Ananias prayed over them and scales fell from his eyes. Many of us also have scales before our eyes. We could not experience. We are blind to the good news of salvation. And what is this good news? First reading. One of the most beautiful passages in the New Testament written by Paul, who was a Pharisee, who was blind. He said, this is the good news. This is the concretization of the good news, that we are blessed in Christ by God, that He chose us in Him before even the world was created. We were already chosen to believe in Christ. And why were we chosen? Because our vocation, our calling, is to be holy and blameless without blem blemish before Him. So He destined us for adoption through Jesus Christ. And we are given redemption and forgiveness. Our sins are taken away because He died on the cross. That is the good news. Halos hindi mo na God according to Paul, lavished His grace upon us. And He showed us, He revealed to us the mystery of His will, that He has a plan in the fullness of time to sum up all things in Christ, in heaven and on earth, as the fullness of creation. Mayroon isang missionary, ito ang sinabi niya, pinaliwanag niya doon sa mga, sa mga insik, long, long ago. And then one old man said, this is true. And the missionary said, this is true. If it is such a good thing, according to the old Chinese, why is it that you told this to us only now? You should have come earlier. Are we telling this to the whole world? When we are baptized, we are supposed to do this. To proclaim the good news to the ends of the earth. To be witnesses. That was, that's what is meant to be destined to be the adopted children of God. Ano ang pinaproclaim ngayon? <clears throat> mga advertising agency, mga commercials, they are proclaiming the wrong things. Telling us to buy things that will make us beautiful, will make us uh, smell nice. Ito. Elizabeth Arden, Dickie N.Y., Maybelline, nasa 
nasa cosmopolitan at vogue yan. Ang ganda-ganda ng mga pictures dyan. Eh, namimili naman ng mga models yan na ang gaganda. Eh, ikaw, 45 ka na. Tatlo na anak mo, lima na. Mag- eh, hindi ka magiging kagaya nila. Pero yun ang sinasabi. Ito, kainin ninyo, organic. Babasahin mo, hindi naman totoo. Ano ang katotohanan? Sinabi ni St. Paul. Yun ang ating panalangin ninyo. Please pray that the priests and the nuns and the leaders of the church will proclaim the good news that we are blessed in Christ. That God chose us in Him before the foundation of the world. Sana kung may pera ako, magtatayo ako ng agency eh, na advertising. Ito ang i-advertise ko sa mga bata. Papasukin ko yung TikTok. Papasukin ko yung Discord. Papasukin ko yung mga ano. Sasabihin sa kanila. Kayo, you're alone. You feel alone. According to the surveys. Totoo po ito, scientific surveys. Connected but alone. Yan yung mga bata ngayon. Ang lalakas pa ng loob. Nagbibigay ako ng retreat. Sasabihin, Father! Walang kahulugan ang buhay. Lalamunin tayo ng kadiliman na walang katapusan. 14 years old before the whole assembly of, of uh, girl students in the Catholic school, sasabihan ka ng ganyan. Never heard the good news. We are failing in our duty. The world is dark because Christ as the light of the world is not being proclaimed in the right way. At yung kayo pa na nakikinig sa akin, you do not need me to tell you this. But there are billions of other human beings, you pray for them. You pray that there will be evangelizers for this time. Hindi yung nananakot na lang na matatapos ng mundo, magka-nuclear war na. Ito, blessed us in Christ, chose us in Him before the foundation of the world, destined us for adoption through Jesus Christ. That is the good news. Pagkatapos ng reading ng gospel, sasabihin ng pare, this is the good news of our salvation. Ito yung concrete meaning ng salvation that we are, we, we are supposed to proclaim. So ipanalangin nyo na mabubuhay pa ako ng ilang taon. Papasukin ko yung mga bata. Ngayon, binigyan ako ng pera ng DepEd. Milagro na rin. Gumagamit kami ngayon ng animation, yung mga interactive na parang mga games, video games. Gumagamit kami ng virtual reality, augmented reality para matuto ang mga bata ng English, science, mathematics. Pag natuto ako dyan, gagamitin ko yan. Halimbawa, virtual reality. Yung may ganyan ka, yung mga seminarista, tinuturuan ko na yun, may ganyan yan sila. Naglalakbay sa International Space Station. Pero mo kung may ganyan ng mga bata sa halip na sermonan mo lang, tapos gagawa ka, andyan si Jesus. Natutulog. Andun yung bangka na malaki ng mga may bagyo. Kaya pag nagganyan ng mga bata, naririnig nilang bagyo, nararamdaman nila yung Pagkatapos, sasabihin ng Panginoon, Fear not, it is I. Mas malalim siguro ang learning ng bata tungkol sa kay Jesus. Gagamit kami ng Minecraft Education Edition. Yung mga nilalaro ngayon, mayroon akong grand nephew, five years old, ang galing-galing sa Roblox. Yung isa namang kapatid niya, nine years old, ang galing-galing sa Minecraft. Eh kung ay tuturo mo, Gawin niya yung Temple of Jerusalem noong panahon ni Herodes. Magre-research si mga bata, magda-download sa YouTube yan. Ang galing-galing nila, batang-bata pa. Hindi ilang natin napapasukan yung kanilang mundo. Pinipilit natin sila tumira sa mundo natin na luma na. Pray as you receive Christ today. That we will be able to be creative enough to design ways so that we can proclaim. If you believe in Christ, you will be blessed in Him. You will be one of those chosen by God before the foundation of the world 
to be holy and uh, without blemish. That is the good news that we should proclaim. That is what we should pray for in this Eucharist that we celebrate today. But our heart, according to St. Augustine, longs for eternity. And the only one that can give that to your children and nephews and grandchildren is Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. <laughs>